Today, in our Forgotten Cures, we are going to look at non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and vitamin E. Now, we had a study that ran in 2012. It was published on April 27th in the Journal of the American Medical Association. What they did was this. They took children that had a form of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease called cetosis, and they ran the study for about 96 weeks. They put one group of children on vitamin E, one group of children on the pharmaceutical metformin, another group of children on the placebo. Well, after 96 weeks and validated through liver biopsies, 58% of the children on the vitamin E treatment no longer has cetosis, the form of fatty liver disease, compared to 41% in the metformin group and of course no results in the placebo group. So you look at this, and this is how much they gave, it was 400 IUs twice daily for a total of 800 IUs over 96 weeks and the form of vitamin E they utilized too was natural, but I digress. A 58% success rate compared to only 41% of the metformin and nothing on the placebo. In addition, the vitamin E had one, another, I should one additional benefit, another benefit. It reduced the inflammation of the liver cells and reduced liver cell death down significantly also. So, when looking for a safe treatment that's not a pharmaceutical in the proper supervision, meaning ask your medical practitioner or medical doctor if it's okay, if your child is one that has this form of fatty liver disease, and say, hey, it's safe, it's effective, it's vitamin E, I could pick it up anywhere, natural form. What about we monitor my child as we put him on this treatment? See what happens. Vitamin E kicks butt on metformin, safe, effective, and again, once again, to quote them, they said after 96 weeks of treatment, 58% of the children on the vitamin E group no longer had basically non-alcoholic cetosis, I should say, or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease compared to 41% of the metformin group. Thanks once again. Give it a shot. And this is Ralph signing off.